Hi everybody and welcome to Jewel Family Farm. Today I'm going to show you how to make some yogurt out of fresh goat's milk. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is have, you could use a half gallon or a gallon of milk, but I'm going to do a recipe for a half gallon today. This is raw um, goat milk. It's not been pasteurized. It's just been um, put in the uh, I put it in the freezer for uh, 20 minutes uh, once I put it in the jars and then I take it out and put it in the refrigerator so that's the only thing that's been done to it so you just pour that in your pot and I like to use a stainless steel um, I just I don't know I just feel better about using stainless steel when making yogurt and cheese and things like that. I just, I don't know, I just like that better than aluminum. I just feel like sometimes aluminum might uh, taint the taste of the product. So, all right, so you just turn this on. Um, probably about medium. It takes a while for this to heat up. You don't want it to boil or anything like that. You want it to heat up very gradually. And you can just let it sit here, you know, for a while. You can also put this in your crock pot and let it heat up on low. For a few hours just till it's uh i think it has to get up to um 110 115 degrees so i'll just use this little gadget here so right now the milk is at 50 degrees so we'll keep an eye on that and um as soon as this heats up, I'll uh, bring you back and show you what I do next. So in the meantime, while this is warming up a little bit, I'm going to turn the oven on. I'm going to put it down to its lowest setting. It's 170 degrees. And I'll let that warm up for just a few minutes. And then I'm going to put my jars in the oven. You need your jars to be washed clean. They don't have to be sterilized. Um, so your jars, they just have to be good and clean. They don't have to be sterilized. You know, like sometimes uh, when I'm canning, I put them in. Um, let me put this up here. Sometimes when I um, can, I sterilize my jars. Uh, you know, and your lids have to be new lids when you're when you're um, canning food. But for yogurt, because it's going to go in the refrigerator, you don't have to have um, new lids, and you just have to have your jars good and clean. And uh, so then I turn on the oven for a few minutes and let it get warmed up some, and then I'm going to put my jars in there just to heat them up some. So that's what I'm going to do now. And uh, so I turn, I put them on a, uh, put them on a flat pan like this, and I put a piece of uh, some kind of cloth down, or you can use parchment paper, or you can use um, Reynolds wrap, whatever you want to use. But my jars are good and clean, and my lids have been really uh, been washed and cleaned. They're not new lids; been, these are already been used lids. Just save that stuff. Save your jar lids and your rings, for, you know, when you can. And you can use it for um, storing milk or, um, you know, things like this that, that are going to go in the refrigerator that don't need to be, um, in, you know, canned for shelf life. So anyway, um, these are going to go in the oven. I'm going to let them set in there until I'm ready to put the yogurt in them. And th th they should be good and warm, but not hot. So just turn your oven on as low, the lowest temperature you can and turn your oven light on. And that will keep your oven hot. Seventy degrees, 
it's still pretty warm in there. So um, I'll open the door for just a minute and let it cool off just a little bit and then I'll close the door on it. Okay, so you need to come over and you need to stir your, your milk every now and then because otherwise it gets a skim on top and you don't really want that skim because once you stir it up then it makes little pieces of skim through your yogurt so just need to stir it a little bit every now and then and then of course check your temperature often so it's up 79 degrees now and that's uh, Fahrenheit so you just want it to heat up very slowly I would say between medium, medium, low, because um, you don't want to scorch your milk either. So let that sit and heat up in, um, to um, 110, 115 degrees. Okay, let's come in here and stir it some more. Check the temperature on it. Okay, it's up to 125. What was it? 110, 115. So it's a little bit too warm. Let me take it off the eye. Cool it down a little bit. The only reason you don't want it to get up over 115 is because it breaks down some of the enzymes that's in it. That's that's, that people like for their, their gut health. And so once it gets up one past 115, it kind of breaks down some of that. And that's why people don't want it to get over that. If you're into that, don't get let it get over 115. You probably need to check it more often. I just want it for my husband because he likes yogurt. He likes fresh yogurt. It's really good. Check it again. Alright, that's a little bit too hot still. You can set it in some, in some cold water, the whole pot down in the sink with some cold water and it'll cool down faster if you get it too hot. It doesn't hurt the yogurt if it gets too hot. It just, like I said, breaks down the enzymes and things, the cultures. And I only had that sitting there just for a very few minutes and then checked it again and it was too hot. So if you really are wanting, you know, the, the enzymes and everything in there to be good for you. You need to really watch your temperature and check. You probably just need to stay in there and check it often. Containers, you want a cup of, of yogurt. You, they, it has to have live cultures in it. So make sure when you're picking out your yogurt. Now this is for your first batch, the first time batch that you make. After that, you can use your own yogurt that you've made and you keep a little jar of it set aside so when you get ready to make your next yogurt, you can use your own yogurt. You don't have to buy store-bought. But this is um, got has live cultures in it. Now this is strawberry flavor. This will not... You can get any flavors or you can get plain yogurt um, if you want to put your own fruit or whatever in it. But I just, this is all I could find. So I got the strawberry, but um, it uh, it gives the yogurt a little bit of a strawberry flavor, but it's very faint. But it's still, I mean, you can still taste the strawberry in it. 
So what we want to do, we want to put this in and mix it up really well. Like the next batch we have, um, like when we make this batch, you'll have a, you can put a little bit in a little pint jar or something and um, save it for your next batch of yogurt. But for just starting out, you have to use store bought, store bought yogurt, and you just get your whisk and you whisk, whisk it up really well. use a cup of Splenda. Um, you can use regular sugar. You don't have to put anything in it. Uh, you can just leave it the way it is. Uh, but I use a little bit of Splenda because I like my yogurt sweet. You could probably put honey in it. I'm sure that you can do a variation of half Splenda, half sugar. Um, you know, whatever you like. I, I, that would work. So I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of warm water. Let me scoot this camera up just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to set this back here so I can show you what I'm doing. Then I use Knox gelatin. And the reason I like to use Knox gelatin is because it really helps your nails and your hair and different things like that. My nails grow like crazy. When I use this uh, with the with my, my yogurt and the gelatin, I use two packages because I like my yogurt really really thick. I don't like it when you it's kind of runny. I don't like that. So I'm gonna use two packages of Knox gelatin and a quarter cup of water. Now, if you like your uh, yogurt a little bit more um, runny. You know, only use one package. I just like mine really, really thick, like almost like uh, not quite as thick as uh, Greek yogurt. It's not; it doesn't get that thick, but that's what it looks like. And it's Knox gelatin. You can get it at the grocery store by where the Jello and all that is. And then I just pour it in. Start mixing it up or it'll clump. And then what I do is I take my little um, quarter cup that I put had water in and I just pick up a little bit of this warm water, I mean warm milk, and I put it in there and I mix that up. Oops, with my little bitty teeny tiny <laughs> mixer thing. Just do you know stir it around like that in there and then I just pour it in and it gets all the, the rest of it out and that's it all right and you take your little can mixer here and just mix it all up really well all right when you do all that then I'm gonna pour my quarter I mean my three-fourths cups of um, Splenda in it. I use Splenda a lot because I just don't want the the sugar. I'm sure that the Splenda is probably, I don't know if Splenda is any better for you, probably not, but if you're trying to save calories, 
That's what I use it for. Lord knows I need to save calories. All right, so that's that. Mix it up really, just make sure it's good and mixed up. My jars are still in the oven, and I've got my oven light on. The oven's still a little warm. You don't want your oven hot. You just want it good and warm. over in the jars. Let me turn this around. Okay. You can use any kind of jars you want. These are pint jars. These are half pints. Um, I even use like salsa jars. You can use any kind of jars you want because like I said, you're not canning. Let me see if this let me fix this up. I'm trying to figure out how the best way to put this so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to get a soup ladle for this. And you just start ladling, ladling it into your jars. If you want to take this to work, your yogurt to work, the best thing to do is to put it into half pints. And I'll show you what those look like. We don't, neither one of us go leave home to go to work. So, um, you know, I don't put them in pint jars too often anymore. You just put a lid on. Oops, that's not the right lid. using a salsa jar. All right, so here's the salsa top. So there's your first jar. And it'll, overnight, I mean, you, you got to let it sit in the oven for uh, eight hours or longer, eight to 12 hours. So here's a little pint, a half pint jar, which would be great if you were going to work or you needed to carry your, wanted to carry your yogurt with you. to do this so I don't make such a mess. Okay. And just put your your clean lid on there. And put a ring on it. And that's a good size, you know, for work. Alright, and then you have the big big mouth jars quart size big mouth jars. I use a lot of those for this. Like I said, we don't go anywhere. You know, we don't take our, our stuff to work. So we're just at home. It's easy to dip it out when it's in the big mouth jars. I'm making a terrible mess. Scoot that over. 
Alright, a little better. But, you know, it's a sweet yogurt. I mean, you can fix it. You don't have to put any sugar in it whatsoever. A lot of people don't. Um, but I like sweet yogurt. I don't like it if it's plain. But you can use some, you know, if you're going to, if it, if it's for cooking or whatever, and you just need some plain yogurt for stuff, you know, leave some of them plain and label them. What I do to label stuff is I use masking tape instead of writing on the top of the jars. I use some masking tape and I put it across the top here. Uh, you know, because sometimes I use these jars for milk and, and these are yogurt. So I have to put yogurt, you know, I'll put yogurt on there or I'll put milk and I put the date so that I know, you know, how long these last. And these, these last, this yogurt will last you probably close to six weeks in the refrigerator. And that's a good thing about fresh milk, fresh yogurt and fresh milk, is it lasts a whole lot longer and it stays fresh. All right, so here's the little wide mouth uh, pint jars, which might be a better choice for you. You know, you want a little, uh, if you want more yogurt for something, it's easy to get to. As you can see, that makes quite a bit of, of yogurt. And that was just a half gallon of milk. Okay. Nope, wrong, wrong lid. I need to pick the lids. Okay, I'll do another little one. I think I might have enough for a pint. Enough left in here. It doesn't have to be all the way full because, you know, it's just going in the refrigerator. Let me pick this up and pour it out. Alright, I probably would have fit in that half pint. I don't know. there is to it. It's not hard to do. You know, like I said, you just need to watch your temperature at the very beginning while you're heating your milk, milk up. You stir it on. Alright, I'm going to move these jars. yogurt back on these. Now if you have a gallon, a gallon's better to do because um, it just makes more yogurt. You don't have to make it as often. So I'm just going to set my jars of milk back on here. Uh oh. Kind of put them in, a, in order a little bit because I'm going to put a towel on the top. Now, of course, if you have this size, you know, you'd have a whole lot of little ones. This is just a half gallon, so. All right. Take you a clean towel. And you're just going to cover it up. You're going to put it to bed. You just cover it up like that. You might have to move your rack down in your oven. Put them in here, and you just stick it in your oven. And the light's on, and you leave it for 12, 8, 8 to 12 hours. So, that's all there is to it. It's not hard. Um, it makes really good yogurt, and... Uh, it's really good for you. Uh, so if you need something to do with all your milk, your goat milk, or I guess cow milk too. I don't, I'm not sure about store-bought milk. I don't know if you can make yogurt out of store-bought milk or not. I just don't know. So anyway, there's your good recipe for some good yogurt. 
and you let it set in there like in the oven for 8 to 12 hours and then you put it in the refrigerator and you have to let it sit in that for a whole day until it firms up and gets good and cold. Um, I hope you like the recipe. I hope you like it and uh, the, the ease of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's not as hard as you think. And I don't know. I know there's other ways that you can make uh, use different things for heat to uh, process it. You know, the 8 to 12 hours instead of your oven. A lot of people use a cooler and they put like... Um, hot uh, um, jars of water in there with the yogurt and let it set in a cooler, a really good insulated cooler overnight. And that, that you can do that too if you don't have a, an oven. So anyway, there's a couple of ways to do it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy. Take care and um, count your blessings. Please like and subscribe and please share my video. And um, I'm trying to grow my YouTube business as you all know. And so anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.